Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Battle series. We are here again. It is the Moon series. We kicked off this week with this team. It is on your screen right now, which is Curum White, Arcanine, Sogaleo, Tapu Lele, Abomasnow, and Mandibuzz. So, we've got a few different interesting picks here. We've got the Arcanine there instead of the Incineroar, and that was requested from loads of people that are like, don't play Incineroar anymore. So we're playing Arcanine. And Arcanine's not bad. It's got Bulldoze. It complements the Sogaleo with that weakness policy um, that we can get speed control from and stuff like that. We've got the Mandibus that we've replaced this week. It's doing a really nice job doing lots of good things in the team. We've got the Bomber Snow to disrupt Kyogre, which has become a big problem for the team without it. Um, and then the two restricted there, Sogaleo and Kieran White. Kieran White has got the Z-move. It's just ridiculously powerful. It's a great Groudon, Evelto, Stomper. So hopefully we can get some of that action in today. Scoff Lele rounding up the team, but that's about it. Let's crank on some music. Let's just remind you all, as I always do, if you enjoy the content, Please leave a like. Just down there, hit the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel though, so you don't miss any of these daily episodes, guides that we have out. Cop Bros Cup, loads of different things, stream stuff, everything. All VGC and some not so VGC, but it's all good. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, but leave your comments in the comment section below, because that's the main thing. And uh, let's just get into this Friday episode. We might make some changes over the weekend to the team, so if, um, if you've got any suggestions with what you'd like to see, um, going forward let me know and we can make those changes and uh, try them out because it is a two fun week period we'll be back to something more standard next week and again if there's standard teams out there that we haven't featured yet on the channel that you would like to see going forward let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure to try and feature them the best we can but hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent uh, are we going to just stick with trainer version 1 sometimes it's nice to just stick with that original soundtrack Sometimes it is, and I think this is a day for it. Tapu Master is our first opponent of the day. So, going up against the Tapu Master, they are playing a team of Raichu, Tapu Koko, because they are the master of the Kokos, master of the Tapus. They have to have a Tapu in their team. It would be disappointing without Duskmane, Necrozma, Incineroar, Kyogre, and Amoongus. So, let's see what we can do here. Um, All right. We've got Trick Room, Heavy Trick Room. Um, I feel like Mandibus is going to do a decent job in this match. Um, the problem is the Tapu Koko and the Alolan Raichu that do threaten it pretty hard. Um, so we have to be very careful around both of those. Um, there's also the Trick Room element that could come out as well, Turn 1. I think what I might do is lead off with Mandibus, Tapu Lele. I think we need a Bomber Snow. Full show. Um... <laughs> Thing is, if we go down the Mandibuzz route, we we're kind of not bringing a restricted Pokemon. We need to bring a restricted because we need to be able to match up against these Pokemon as best we can. Um, so we could leave Mandibuzz for sure. We could bring Arcanine Tapu Lele as a lead with the Bombersnow on the back and Curum because I don't really know how much Silverleo is doing here. Whereas Kyurem kind of resists the electric type attacks. Um, the Amoongus is a bit of an issue though. For sure. But we have a Bomber Snow. Who did so well in yesterday's episode. And I'm I'm pretty sure he's going to do well again today. A Bomber Snow is one of my favourite Pokemon as well. I say this about every Pokemon. I'm sure you think I say this about every Pokemon. But genuinely. Bomber Snow. 2010. My first. One of my first national championships ever. Went there, went to the UK, and came third, and had a bomber snow on my team. And ever since then, I've been a big fan of it. We're going to see the Raichu and the Tapu Koko come up for my opponent here. We are going to see, uh, actually, a Scarf Tapu Koko, which is <laughs> super interesting. Uh, Upa, Upa interesting. But we do get rid of the Electric Terrain, which is like just as interesting. I want to see how much, how many flying resists my opponent has on their team. Not many. None at all. So Bulldoze here is very good. Um, we could also snipe the Coco because it probably stays in. Um, could Dazzle as well. I mean, it's not a bad option. But we could preserve Tapu Lele for later. We kind of disguise the fact that we are Scarfed though. Um, and we will get the jump on this Raichu. It's just we're not fast enough. We haven't got an attack to take down the Raichu. I don't think a Moonblast is quite enough. Whereas we can take down the Tapu Coco for sure probably switches out though but 
Um, actually, a helping hand moon blast will be enough. So if we can be fast enough to click in on the right shoe, that will do probably. Helping hand. What am I thinking about? We're not thinking about all the options we've got here on this team. We'll see the Coco go Volt Switch out, so it's out, so it can bring the terrain back in probably. Ooh, Thunder, out with the rain. You're a madman. You are a madman. I'm surprised it hits as well. You're crazy. Should oh, and the paralysis. That's not very nice. It's not nice at all. We should get the Raichu with a helping hand moon blast. Yeah, easy. Now we've revealed we're scoffed. Now we could be in a bit of trouble because the Kyogre could come in. But we know the Kyogre is not scarfed it is the duskman necrozma which probably has a weakness policy but it probably will try and go for the trick room i'd imagine so what we could do is bring in mm, hmm ah uh, this is a problem when we've not brought sogaleo against this thing especially with arcanine um hmm we don't want to go for we could just roar it out i guess Hmm. Bring in Kurum. But I kind of don't really. Uh, do we want to bring in Kurum? Kurum's not bad. Um, and we could flare blitz, but it's gonna it's gonna trick room, and I think that it's gonna trick room. A hundred percent gonna trick room. I can't allow it to get the trick room up. Kyogre coming in. A hundred percent trick room from that darn pesky dog of a necrozma over there we could argue that it's a bird because it looks like it has got wings it could be a bird bird up necrozma so let's see yeah it's gone for the trick room denied doesn't really help our situation right now though does it but we can pretty safely go for Oh, well, we can switch in. We can totally switch in. Uh, we can go Earth Power into the Coco and switch in Obama Snow. This is why we've got it. Obama Snow, come to the field. Save us from this Kyogre and its nasty, nasty rain. So we'll get the Obama Snow in. Our Sash is undoubtedly going to be broken here. There's the Thunder. It still hits. I can't believe this. It's into bomb. A bomb though. You take it like a champ. Take it. We'll get the Coco here. I'm gonna see a water spout or a Z move. One of the two. Ice beam. Ice beam. Okay. Huh. We've got the double blizzard as an option here for the freeze hacks. We could do that. Freeze hacks. At least we win the weather war. I guess that's the, the big thing here, isn't it? I just don't feel like an earth power <laughs> and a bulldoze is gonna be enough to take down this Necrozma and it's blatantly got, blatantly got. Um, I mean, I wonder, I wonder. <sighs> Z, it's, I, <sighs> thing is, I know the Z move does a lot of damage. Earth power is probably not going to do as much damage. And the Kyogre probably protects here. And the Trick Room goes up. Where we could use this time to just get as much damage on this Necrozma as possible. And try and get a freeze if we can. Double Blizzard Z move. Let's do it. Kyogre protects. Kyogre is protecting. I'm sorry I keep saying Kyogre. I should stop saying that. I'm just messing around. If those of you that there don't know, I do know how to say Kyogre properly. But I just like the sound of Kyogre. Kyogre. And we are going to see the Z move. Okay. We're going to get in Dustman the Cosma. I mean, it would be it'd be amazing if a bomber snow just freezes this thing here. I mean, we're getting deep freeze now. Okay. Double Blizzard would have been better. Double Blizzard would not have been better. Earth Power would have been the better play. <laughs> but we can stall out this Trick Room, right? We can totally stall out the Trick Room. Totally stall it out. We can do it. Okay, so let's switch into Arc Crane 9. Um, 
I think you probably got. Oh, do you? Oh, do we actually keep the Curum in and get rid of the Duskmane? Because I think you target the Abomasnow that actually threatens the Kyogre. So I'm going to switch in Arcanine for Abomasnow. And Earth Power this Necrozma. Because I think if you're logical, you, you take down the Abomasnow that's threatening your Kyogre. Because otherwise, it's going to just ruin you. Water Spout. Unless this ruins. This will ruin us. Yeah. So that we've got no option there. So. Mm. Oh no! I don't think we can do nothing. Do nothing now, since Steel Strike. This will take us down. Ah uh, no! Uh, we should have kept the bomber snowing and just grass knotted. Grass knotted. I mean, at least we got an intimidate onto the um, the dusk main. I think we have to double the um oh, do we protect the bomber snow? I think like we've shown our hand, we've shown that we're we're scared of the, the dustman and the crosma right now. With the bomber snow. But my opponent's not bothered about it. That's the weird thing. I'm all bothered about the curum. Which I guess makes sense because it's the one thing that could potentially take down the necrozma, which you wanna remove because it's your win con um, so we could potentially protect a bomber snow they do know that the Lele is scarfed though, or they should do so they could just attack into that oh, what am I going to do what am I going to do I'm going to protect and I'm going to go hidden power fire into the necrozma if we get this off we can win this game if you go stun steel strike into the abomas snow or photon geyser we can win this game there's ice beam no why are you picking every right <laughs> i don't think we take this in minus one either nah Oh, we're just not going to be able to do this. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm saying it. Um. All right. Uh, we can go for the double protect. I mean, this is why this team's so like so good because it gets this end board position set up with the slow Kyogre and the Dustman the Crosma, and you find it. You find yourself really tied with how you can deal with it if you haven't got the right trick room checks in your team. The hail stops. Which isn't any help to us. Can we get a triple protect? Or are we going to lose to the Tapu Master? I mean, if we lose at all, I don't mind losing to the Tapu Master. It's one one of them we don't mind losing. Abomasnow could win this, though. Come on. No. Okay. Not off to the best of starts today. Moonlight. Moonlight Necrozma. <clears throat> That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Uh, okay. I mean, we could get a double freeze. Hit Blizzard out of hill. Double freeze. That could win us the match. We could still do this. Kyogre protecting. Blizzard connecting. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> we just want one break. Come on, RNG. RNG hates us. Whoever controls the RNG out there in this mystical world of rng -ness, they really don't like me. I've done something to upset them. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I upset you. I upset you. Just reset the switch. Make the RNG fair. I mean, it wouldn't have been fair if my opponent had got frozen there and we hit a blizzard. Double blizzard. Double freeze. That's not fair. That's probably why they're like, no, you don't deserve this. <laughs> Good game to my opponent. Um, I think we could have won that one. Uh, definitely the Necro uh, Sogaleo for us would have been a better choice, especially with the wide guard uh, at the end there and then the knockoff against, I think the Curum was not the right pick in that match. And that's just down to team preview for ourselves. But uh, we live and we learn and we go forward and we get better. So we take it into next week 
all improved and shiny and we do amazing things so we'll go on to our next episode next match of the episode and this will be the one to round it up and finish us off for this week let's go with giovanni music against our next opponent who's from japan playing the team of scissor tabakoko xerneas incinero ludicolo and Kyoga. So we've got the restricted pairing of Xerneas Kyoga. It's a restricted pairing we struggle with quite a lot recently. So hopefully we can like overcome it in this game. Tapu Koko is going to be there for the terrain control. We've got Incinero Ludicolo for fake out support to help set that Xerneas up, protect it. You've got the scissor as well. It's going to be a bit awkward to deal with because it does threaten our Tapu Lele, our Bomber Snow, our Curum. But we do have that psychic terrain, so we need to make good use of that and make sure that we are protecting ourselves from those priority bullet punches right now let's get into this one um right i'm gonna think i think because the i think they bring the the coco because of the the importance of their fake out and their priority bullet punch on the, the scissor so to disrupt our psychic terrain i do expect the coco to come out um whether it leads or not i don't think so i think it doesn't lead um i'm gonna lead off with mm, what do we do? I think we lead off with Lele for sure. And I think we probably want Lele and Mandibus, Mandy. Let's bring them for sure. We need a Bomber Snow and we're going to bring Sogaleo or Kyurem. Hmm. Sogaleo. We left it last game. I feel like it's feeling left out. Let's bring it this game. It's so good against that Zernius. And leaving it at home would be the wrong thing to do. Kyurem, you can sit this one out. And we'll get into this next one. And end up the week. It's been fun this week, I hope at least, out of everything. I know sometimes it's nice to always see really competitive games and things like that. But I hope, on a side note, you've enjoyed this week. It's been a bit lighthearted, a bit fun. We've done some really quite useful things, I think, in looking at what aspects of games and teams that you need to look at to change things up going forward so hopefully it's been useful as well as entertaining as well for you guys and uh, we are going to see the the ludicolo the kyoga come out for my opponent we're going to proc that psychic seed and then the rain appears um tabulele is in a nice position now to just throw out a psy shock i think we need to just refresh ourselves see if there's any dark types in the back there is the incinero of course um the, would be a bit of a pain um, but I am going to just side shock into the Kyogre and uh, I'm going to tailwind I really need to stop saying that just say Kyogre imagine if I get asked to cast again sometime soon and I'm like and the Kyogre and everyone's like <laughs> you're sacked you're fired that's what the response would be <laughs> Let's see what my opponent does. They can obviously fake out the Manda Buzz um, because it's not attached to the ground and the pink jelly is not protecting us here. Um, but <clears throat> we can get uh, some damage onto Kyogre if it didn't switch out. And it's obvious that we are scarfed unless this Kyogre is not... Um... Okay, so we're just seeing this happen. We're going to get a side shock, do some big damage into that Kyogre. It is going to go for a Z move though. Madman! Where's it going? They're going to take down uh, Tapu Lele. It makes sense if it does chase it down because um, the, the psychic terrain, once you overwrite that, then Scissor comes in and does a remarkably good job. Um, but the Hydro Vortex into the Manibus, which we probably take with that after that psychic seed boost, maybe. Do we? No. No. <laughs> no way. We never t we're not taking that anytime soon. Um, I think... Is a nice time to bring good old Bomber Snow in. Throw out some cheeky, cheeky little blizzards. Or is it time? Or is it time to bulldoze and bring in Sogaleo? The only problem with that is I do worry a little bit about uh, getting Skull Burnt on the Sogaleo, but I mean. <sighs> I think the Kyogre switches out. I think the Incineroar comes in. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Xerneas came in as well. But we've got to do something. We've got to do something. So I'm going to go for it. Kyogre switching out. Incineroar. Scissor. Okay. Sizzy. Sizzy baby. Scald. This is the problem. Please don't burn us. Because this would be... No! Ugh! 
talked about it too much and it happened. I mean, we'll we'll get rid of those those burn. So frustrating, isn't it? So frustrating. I hate burns. It's that RNG man. It's the mythical RNG man. He's hating down on us right now. Um, at least we can throw out some blizzards still. The Kyogre's, there's always risk of the Kyogre coming in. Um, but I think superpower into the scissor and a blizzard isn't a bad option. Hmm. We talked about the risk of switching in Solgaleo into the burn. We went for it. Regardless, and we got punished. Ludicolo gonna switch out. Is Kyogre gonna come in? It is, Kyogre. Um, okay. Can we hit a blind blizzard? That's what we need. We really need to. Super power. Come on, Abomas. No, you didn't hit the last one. We need you to hit this one. We need you. We need you to hit this one. Please hit it. Okay, I don't mind that. Okay, that does nothing to scissor. Bug bite. Oh dear. Hmm, the burn gonna take us down. It's all gone Pete Tong. It's all gone very, very wrong. But we are faster than the scissor, so I think a combination of dazzling gleam. It's just a problem of uh, the the cocoa being in the back, and the fact that we need to dazzling gleam and blizzard, and that's still probably not enough to take down the scissor, and it's probably got a berry, and I think we lose this one. Ah, oh, never mind. Some good things to look at going forward in this. Okay, it's the Incineroar. Incineroar. I mean, if... Yeah, this is alright. This isn't bad. It's just our Psychic Terrain will run out at some point, and then that scissor becomes very, very dangerous. You know what? Abomasnow is the worst Blizzard user. It gives Blizzard users such a bad name. Curum White, on the other hand, sitting on stream last week, Blizzard in, Blizzard in, Blizzard in. No, no worries about the actual um, <clears throat> gravity or hail being up and just throwing them out and just doing doing an, an incredible job, hitting every single one. Whereas Abomasnow, his cousin here, letting the team down, letting the team down, big style. Kling's, Kling's Rock. King's Rock. Jesus. Okay. Can we get a double freeze? No. We're not going to get a double freeze. I mean, we hit a bomb uh, incineral. Can we get one freeze? No. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> a bomber snow. Why are you letting us down? You're one of my favorite Pokemon. This is not how we... This is not how we roll. But Osiris Studios... Come on, Incineroar, please knock off my Lele, please. So we've got access to Hidden Power and all the other nice options that we've got. Scissor's just going to come back in now, though, and just slam dunk everything. So the Skull coming up from the uh, the Ludicolo there. We need a we need a double. We hit. I almost know you hear me. Can we get a freeze? This would be okay. I mean, a bomber stone's pretty bulky, right? It doesn't do a bad job at taking the attacks. But scissor gonna come in now. Our only hope is like we've got mm, pretty much no hope. Pretty much no hope because the Ludi definitely targets the Lele, and the scissor definitely bullet punches your bomber now. Bullet. Bill. Yeah. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But fun nonetheless. So good game to my opponent. We are going to end it up there, guys. It's been an incredible week. We'll be back on Monday with some changes to the team going forward. We'll look at some aspects of the team. I'm going to look back at all of the episodes this week and just really summarise what my thoughts are. And we'll come back into next week and we'll have a real crack at making this cure on white work. Might mean changing a lot of items and a lot of different Pokemon and going down different routes with things. But we'll come back with a completely different team. As always, this team is in the description, so if you want to try it, let me know. Hope it works out well. And um, we'll be back next week. So until then, guys, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.